Today we're going to see if AI can make me my own custom 5M script. We're going to ask AI to build a 5M script from the ground up to see how well it does it and to find out if it's even possible. So the game plan is I've set up a basic 5M server, absolutely base. No database, no Cubicore, no ESX. This is the most default 5M server possible. Try and make it as easy for the AI to make a script. And then we're going to head on over to AI, which is going to be Grok for this video, since tons of you guys told me that Grok is the best way to do it, rather than my go-to usually, which is ChatGPT. And then I'm going to ask Grok what script it thinks it's the best it can make. So what type of script, whether it's a spawn selector or an inventory or something like that. We're going to ask it what it thinks is the best script that it can make. And then we're simply just going to go ahead and let AI do it. I think it's going to take a couple of attempts to get it right. Okay, so the server is running and you can see if we go to resources, we have nothing but the default scripts. Absolutely nothing. The whole server is as basic as it can be to ensure that we can't mess anything up. So I guess we'll dive in to AI and we'll try and figure out what script we're even going to get it to make in the first place. OK, so I put in a prompt that says I want a custom standalone 5M script for my server. What is the best type of script that you can make? And it should come back to us with an answer on what it thinks is the best script that it can make. And I think I'm using the correct mode here. We're using the think mode, which should let the model take its time to reply. I don't think deep search is the right one since that's more for like doing essays and stuff like that, advanced search and reasoning. I don't think that's the right one, but if this doesn't work very well, maybe we'll try deep search instead. But I guess we go ahead and launch in with the first prompt and we'll see what we get back. Okay, so it gives an answer saying that the suggested scripts that it thinks it can make the best of is a vehicle control script or a custom command script. Uh, both pretty boring, I'm not gonna lie. Like this is not ground groundbreaking stuff, especially for AI, which in theory could use the whole internet to do it. But it did give us a random thing. It just started making us code and it gave us a random command script thing, a vehicle control lure, which isn't a zip. So it's not a script in its entirety. It's just a lure, which we'd have to make stuff for. And it says right there that we'd have to do that. So. I'm not particularly impressed, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it pick one and then I'm going to make it make the script from the ground up because the AI should do everything. It shouldn't make me have to do all the resources and Lua stuff. It should give me the whole zip to install the script. OK, so the prompt that I've typed up that I'm about to hit enter on is asking AI to just pick one and then I want it to make the script in its entirety and give it to me in zip form so I can just drag and drop it and the only thing I have to do is ensure it in my server.cfg. So we'll keep it on think as I think we did the right one. And then we'll press enter and we'll see what happens next. Okay, so it actually took over a minute for it to do this thing. And you can see it's still doing something. I have no idea what, what it's even doing right now. Apparently, it's still doing whatever it's doing and it's still loading. I, I don't even know at this point. But what I can see is it's not even giving me a zip. It said, since you requested a custom sign on a 5M script in a zip file that you can drag and drop, it's created a vehicle control script. Normally they provide a zip containing with all the necessary files. However, since you can't attach a zip here, it'll provide the content of the script files. Why can't it attach a zip if it can attach all the files separately? I, I don't get it whatsoever. Like that that's a shortfall of Grok right there. Come on, Elon Musk can do better than that. But you can see it's given us installation instructions, features, and how to add the files. I'm going to try one more time to get it in zip form. If it doesn't work, then I guess we'll just stick to this and we'll try and see if it works. OK, I tried to gaslight the AI into giving to me in zip form and it's clear it just can't do it. So it's basically just repeated what it's told me already. I guess we'll just try and do this. It's a bit disappointing. I wish it could have given me in zip form, but we'll follow the installation instructions and I guess we'll just set up this vehicle control script in our 5M server and see if it even works. So let's get to work on this. And the first things first is installation instruction from Grok. Step one, create a folder called vehicle control. Pretty simple. Let's do it. OK, so we're in the resources folder. We'll just right click new folder and we'll call it vehicle control just like that. So let's move on to the next step. That was nice and easy. 
Now we go to inside the vehicle control folder, create three files, the FX manifest, client lure and server lure. Copy the code from the sections below into each file, start it. Although, is it giving me them here? So why do I need to copy them? Can I not just download it? Like, I think I can just download it. So I'll just download each one of these and then I guess drag and drop it into that folder we just made and then ensure it. Okay, so we'll just paste them on in just like that. We'll go back to the next steps that Grok has given us, which was to open our server.cfg and add in the ensure line, which is correct. So I guess we'll go ahead and do that we'll find our server.cfg. Okay, so here we go. We've got literally nothing else ensured since it's so basic. And um, we'll type exactly what it wanted us to do. There we go. Ensure vehicle underscore control file and save and close it on down. Well, and we'll move on to the next step. The optional zip creation. After creating the folder, you can name it vehicle control and share it or store it as needed. We don't need to do that unless you guys want it. Uh, I don't know why you would. If you want it, you can comment down below and maybe I'll give it to you in a drive or something. But I'm pretty sure you could achieve this, if not better, yourself with Grok. And now it gives us how to use it, keybinds, and apparently the customization of the commands. Apparently, once the files are created, you can test it on your server immediately. So I guess that's the last step we got to do. Let's load the script, see if it even starts to begin with, load in the server, and see if this works. You know, I'm going to be pretty impressed if this works because AI has come a long way. Okay, so I just clocked something. When I tried to refresh the scripts, it, it gives me a warning saying it does not have a resource manifest, fx manifest.lua, which I was pretty sure AI gave it to us. But when I downloaded it from the Grok website, I realized even though it said Lua on the website, you guys can see right here, it's actually downloaded if we look in the server files, not as a Lua. So there we go, you guys can see it's downloaded as a TXT. So I assume if we open it, it's correct. So what we gotta do now, is just change the file type from txt to lua and we should be good okay so there we go all of our txt documents have been renamed to a lua source file and now we should be good to go back to our txt admin go to our resources give it a refresh and there we go vehicle console control script does now appear hopefully if we click start it's gonna work and it looks like it's working it hasn't stopped immediately which is a good sign if we go to our live console and there's something broken we will see an error but I'm not seeing any errors either. So I guess the next step is to load into the server and see if the commands that it gave us actually work. Okay, so I'm loaded in to the server, as you guys can see right here. And now the only thing to do is test the script. So to use it, we need to spawn a car first. And because this is a basic server, we have no way of spawning a car apart from PX admin. So that's what we're going to have to use. We'll try the commands and we'll try the keybinds. Pretty simple. And apparently we could request extra features. Maybe we'll do that, but I want to see if this even works at all to begin with. So let's spawn a car in using the ETX admin menu. And we'll just spawn something really basic, maybe just like the Granger. Okay, here we go. And I think we'll try the commands first. So the first command is slash engine to turn the engine off. Okay, and it actually worked. It actually just turned the engine off. I don't know if you guys could hear that, but the engine is off and it even gives it a little bit in the chat saying engine stopped. And I just pressed L to show the chat by accident and I can see that it's just locked the vehicle. And now the vehicle has started again. I don't know if I get out the car and I, I lock it. No, okay, so it only works when you're in the vehicle. There's no like car key system. I don't know how that's gonna work, but I guess we'll try lock. I don't know how that works exactly because I can still get out the car, but then I can't get in it. Well, it actually works. And if I do slash unlock. Okay, well, unlock's not the command. So toggle. Okay, I just need to do lock again. Okay, and now I must be in a vehicle to use it. Okay, that's one of the flaws. If you lock the vehicle when you're in it, you can't then unlock it. I, I, I don't know how I'm meant to get back in this vehicle. I guess I just have to delete it and respawn it. But honestly, I'm pretty impressed that it even worked in the first place. Uh, like AI actually managed to make somewhat of a functioning script. Whether I can get back in the vehicle or not, you know, that that is a problem. Maybe we'll go back with that one revision to try and see if it can fix it. So when I'm standing next to the vehicle, it can unlock it. And we'll see if that works. Give the server a refresh. But first of all, to do that, we've got to head back to AI and try and explain the problem. Okay, so here you go. I'm going to give it a prompt that tells it that when I lock the vehicle in a minute and I get out, I can't get back in it because it's locked and it doesn't work to unlock it because you have to be in the car 
So I'm going to try and get it to make it so when you're standing next to a car or a car you were just in, it will unlock it from outside. Okay, so I told AI the problem and apparently it's come up with a solution. And now it will allow us to lock and unlock the vehicle from outside if you're within five meters and with the last driver, which is pretty much spot on uh, what we want, I guess. But rather than just giving us the files to download, it's telling us that we need to manually go inside and replace the, all the lines of code with what it gives us right here. So I guess that's what we're going to have to go and do is first of all, we're going to do the client Lua. So we'll copy the whole contents of this, go back into the server and go into the client.lua, control C and control V, paste it all in, file, save, close it down, go on to the next thing, the server.lua, and then we will do the exact same step. So we'll just open it on up, control A and paste it on in, file, save, and close it on down. And I don't think we need to do anything else. Yeah, so now we're good to just restart the resource and hopefully the script should now work. So we'll see. We'll give the script a little restart, see if there's any errors, and hopefully this fixes that problem that we had. It looks like there's no errors, so I guess we just go back in game and see if it works. I don't think it's gonna work with this vehicle, so I think we'll spawn in another one, as we wanna give it the benefit of the doubt, just in case. And let's try spawn in just another Granger. Oh, actually, we'll spawn in a T20 this time. There we go. That's the OG vehicle right here. And we'll see if the rest of the commands work. So locking is still working. And I think engine is still working. If I can spell engine correctly. Okay, so yeah, the commands are still working. But now if I get out of the car, I did lock the car. So yeah, okay, so it's unlocked. If I get out of the car and I do L, it should lock it. No, I don't think it's working. If I do T slash lock, Vehicle locked. Okay, and it is locked. If I do slash lock again, vehicle unlocked, and it worked. Okay, fair play to AI. That is hella impressive. We've got to turn the engine back on because the engine was off. So I think it's safe to say AI can actually make you somewhat of a basic script at least, but a script that actually works nonetheless. So in all fairness to Grok AI, I think that did better than ChatGPT. And I'm impressed that it worked full stop.